In this video, I want to show you how your content is organized inside WebNet Page Builder. I'm inside the Pages uh, section inside the Page Builder application. And first thing you'll notice on the left hand side, you have a navigation tree. Uh, this tree is organized in folders and subfolders. And if you click on a specific folder, you will see what's placed inside of that folder and if it has any pages or any other subfolders inside of it. So for example, here, if I click on content pages, I don't have any pages inside, but I've got a couple of subfolders. If I click on the docs, I'll expand the docs and so on. So I can navigate the structure in a way that I just click and select where where inside the navigation structure I want to place myself and then when I do that I will see all of the content inside it. Um, the important thing to note about the content organization so if I got this page uh, placed inside let's say this folder that page is only available inside one folder, right? So it's a hierarchical navigation where one content piece is placed in one uh, entry inside the organizational structure. Now, it's important also to note that this organizational structure is only used for internal content organization. It is not used to organize how the content is actually presented on your website. Those two things are separate, separated. And that is by design because you want to organize the content here inside the admin panel in a way that is suited towards your content workflows, content production workflows, how your content editors work, how your internal terminology around content uh, works. So it is designed for content production in those, those type of workflows. Then this content, once it's produced here, you can put it on your website in many different shapes and forms, and it doesn't need to be, as I said, linked to how the content is organized here. This gives you a lot more flexibility in the way you want to present your content to the end user. All right, so there's a couple of basic uh, functions that you will find on this view here. First of all, you can create new folders. Uh, let's create one. We'll name it demo and give it a slug. And we can choose where we want to place that, uh, that folder, right? So if I don't select anything, it's going to be placed inside the root. So let's create that inside the root and it's automatically placed here. You will see that we automatically sort the left hand side alphabetically. So this way it's again uh, easier for you to navigate and find the right folder because in certain cases you might have folder trees of hundreds of folders and having a sense of where inside that list my folder might be, it, it's very helpful, right? So when I now have created a demo folder and uh, if I want to, I can edit that or I can delete it, right? In case I want to place another folder inside my demo folder, I'll just click on the demo folder and select new folder. That's one option. The other option is selecting new folder here. And the third option is just selecting, clicking on the new folder here and then just placing it inside demo. So um, let's name this one subfolder and we'll place it inside the demo folder. So now when I navigate to demo, I will see the subfolder, right? And um, again, subfolder here is empty and I can create more and more uh, subfolders there's no limits to that, so it's up to what best suits your need. All right, let's go back to the root. Let's talk about the right-hand side here. So here, when I'm inside a specific uh, folder or subfolder, so let's just find some good examples here. Um, I think the best one is actually here. So when I'm inside a specific folder or subfolder, on the right hand side, I will see what is placed inside that folder. Uh, and you can place two things. Uh, you can place other folders, which you will see by the folder icon, and you can place pages. 
pages have this icon and a checkbox. Um, if you go back to, to the root, you'll see how it looks like with a bit more content, right? So I got my uh, subfolders and I've got my pages. I also have the select all option. Select all only selects pages. The other thing that I can then do on this right hand side is depending on the context, if I'm within the folder level, I again have those edit and delete options. But if I, I'm inside the pages, well, then I'll have more options. I'll have the option to edit a page, preview, publish, move a page, or delete a page. Um, so if we select, let's say, move option for a specific page, it's going to ask us where do we want to move that page to. So let's select our demo folder. Let's move that page there. So if you now navigate to our demo, you will see that page being transferred there. Again, because the front end, that is your website uh, from the user's perspective, is separated from the way the content is organized inside the admin, moving for moving folders, moving pages through into different uh, sections of your navigation tree doesn't affect the, the user, the experience in, in terms of the front end. It doesn't change the URL slug. It doesn't affect how your navigation looks like on the front end, things like that. So you're free to organize your content here and nothing will change for the end user visiting your website. All right, let's talk more about some of the options we have uh, here on this right hand side. So there's a couple of options here on the top, the new folder and new page are the same ones as if I were to go into an empty folder and um, select those, right? They work the same way. New folder will just open the new folder dialog and a new page will open a dialog to create a new page. The other two options that we have here are export and import, right? So I can export a selected page for if I click this it's going to ex export all of the pages uh, similarly import again it's going to open up a dialog where we select a category and then give it an, uh, an export file and it's going to import all of those pages into the folder where I'm navigated uh, currently at and the other uh, thing we can see on the top bar is the name of the current folder right so this is kind of a, in a high level, what uh, we have on the right hand side. And now, if we have more content than it fits on the screen, uh, there's no pagination. It's automatically, it's going to automatically load uh, more content as you scroll to the bottom. Um, we call that infinitive scroll. So you just keep scrolling down and you'll see no, more content being loaded. Uh, I can demonstrate that. Let me just refresh this page because currently, uh, I've loaded all the content that was cached. So if you now navigate to the bottom, you'll see loading more pages and pages have been loaded. And there we, there we go. So if you don't, if you're at the bottom of the scroll bar and that uh, loading indicator doesn't show, that's then that means that you're now seeing all of the content that's available within this uh, folder. All right, now if we click on a folder here, we'll just navigate to that folder uh, or subfolder on the left hand side. But if we click on a page, you will get the preview uh, panel on the right hand side. The preview panel has two tabs, the page preview and revisions. Uh, we'll talk in another video about how revisions work inside Web and Page Builder. But the point here is that as you expand this panel, you can see how your content looks like. Currently here, I'm looking at one of our white papers, uh, but let's open another page, for example, Web and Partners. So here we have a preview of another page. And with that page, we got similar options as when we expand that drop down, so we can edit, publish, delete a page, but we also have a few more options here, right? If we want to edit a page, we could just click edit from this view, or again, we could just click here, oh, sorry, or just click here and 
choose the edit option right so that was it about how the content it all is organized as i mentioned the most important part is to know that the content organization that you do inside this view here does not affect your website doesn't change the urls if you move the pages in between folders this is optimized more for your content creation workflows and you should treat it like that all right i'll see you in the next video